to another episode of Bushcraft Dave. Not out on a big walk, out on the family holiday. We've come to Obergurgel in Austria and we're skiing. Um, today, the idea of this video is just to give you a bit of a snapshot of kind of the day in the life of Bushcraft Dave while he's out on holiday. So you're gonna see us out and about on the slopes. So yeah, thank you for joining me. And um, let's go for a little bit of explore on the Austrian Alps around Obergurgel and later on we're hopefully going to show you some stuff. We're going to go over to the next valley over which is Hochgurgel. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. Let's go skiing. Want to tell everybody what you've just done? Is it on? Yeah. So, so I just um, went down that hill in 30 seconds and I got a silver medal. Well done, Emily. I didn't get a silver medal. For walking. For walking down that slope in my ski boots, nearly burying myself. There's Mrs. Bushcraft Day, she's risking it. Oh, I need to go tell her she, like, she missed it as well. I suppose if we leave it running. Oh, it's just, you stand on that slope and you look over and you go, oh. Yeah, it's like a front cliff, that's what we like. Yeah. Ready for it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been very. The, I reckon it'll be the noisiest of my videos. Yeah. Because I'll be cutting a lot into the earth. There's a cross up there. Yeah, right on the top of the mountain, that's where they put the cross. There's a person on there. It stands at, I think that stands at, what, 3087, I think, or something like that. Yeah. But this is, this is at 3030. Are you ready? Proper cool. Proper f***ing like this. Uh, edit, edit the swearing out, Liv. Because it is proper f***ing high. Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> now that's where you go. That's a painting. Let's go. Push, 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 push. Ow. Head, 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 head. We're going left. We'll look, we'll take the view in again next time, Liv. So yeah, I've had my boots so loose because it's just been all blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, well, it's time for a black. Black, I don't know what the number is. That's blue 20. Hang on, let me just have a have a bit of a look over the edge. I mean, this is what I think this is what the children think skiing is like. Yeah. They think this is how steep everything is. No, it isn't. That's your sort of nice, casual little blue slope over there. We're going downhill. So this is what we call a proper black. There aren't that many proper blacks on this mountain, but this one is proper. It's a lovely view, though. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, go on, good luck. Good luck. No wiping out, please. Oh, 
that's the top of um, um, one. So does it look like there's tables here? Right, we're heading over, I think. Well, it depends if you want to do this kid ski run. We could go and try and do the kids ski fun thing. Uh, that, that can then ultimately take us out to the bottom of either one or two. Burn one of them two, I would have thought. Yeah. But we want to head to the, for our perspective, the left of the ones. Fancy it? Just for a bit of fun? So can we get up to the top? Yeah, because we'll just get back on worm one, uh, worm two. Even if we end up on worm one, it comes down and we get round to worm, worm two, one, two. Anyway, I'm going to kids. I'm going to kids fun park. Should we go on the hot gurgle fun slope? Should we go on the fun slope? I don't know what this is going to be like. I'm quite scared. I hate these things. I hate these. I hate these tight turns. I'm all right at 1.8, aren't I? Oh. Oh. That was evil in a lot of ways. Do I go over the jump? Do I go? Nope. No, I'm not brave enough. Oh. I wasn't brave enough to do the jump. Yeah. Yeah, 27 goes out and round, so does 26, so. We stick 26, head to the right-ish. Um, but top station comes out there as well. Yeah. Let's go. Which way are we going? Doing well, keeping up with. Okay, so what are we going to uh, what are we going to show the viewers now? So we showed them getting on a chairlift. Yep, and getting off. And then getting off a chairlift, and then getting on another chairlift, and then getting. Oh, well, we don't have to show them all of that. I mean, they're probably bored already. They've probably turned off. Whoa. Cross the skis. Don't cross the skis. As they say in Ghostbusters. So to be fair, rather than take the blue 32 down, you could just hot foot it across from here, straight up this. That, that was a nice run. Although I have to say, I think I think there was a fair bit of sort of thick 
snow that you only need to get it a little bit wrong and you're done. Because it's because it's such a wide valley, it's not like everybody's skiing the same bit. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Ready for some food. Have you heard from them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so much more than that other slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think there is, both sides there's quite a lot to see. It's just, because it's not, it's not connected at the top, it's connected at the bottom. It takes a little bit more planning. That's yeah, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like in Finkenberg, everything goes up to the top and then you decide what you're going to do. Yeah, so you're up at the top and then you go up whichever side yeah, down. Yeah. Whereas here, a little bit more, you have to decide where you're going But to how it. amazing was that view when you come over at the top mm -hmm. and you just like a, a, a uh, uh, the Alps as far as the eye yeah, can see. Yeah, it's crazy. It is bonkers. So, we're trying to get to Blue 36. Yeah, down to the bubble, down to the, bubble, the one where the Top Express and the Gurmkanerdle one, or whatever it's called, is. Yeah. It's not called Gurmkanerdle. Um, and that was where we did Blue 32 to the left, but you take Blue 36 to the right, yeah. um, just under it. And that takes us across, across to that slope. We'll then up to the top. Let's do it. Woo! Let's ski to them mountains.
<laughs> Keep your momentum going. Look at those mountains. That's such a stunning view. Oh my thighs. Oh my thighs. Oh they know. Blue 44, it's like an American football thing. Red 42, blue 44. <laughs> This is Bushcraft Dave to the rescue. Good rescue, missus. Ah, guten Abend. Guten Tag. Entschuldigung. Yeah, I think you will regret that, yeah. So that red does join up the 42. No, I think that's the, what we're saying about the red 42 coming down the other side. So, we're just down to the bubble. I'm tired. I can feel my legs with not quite as much strength. So on the ski veg is actually more difficult. Might have tightened my boots maybe. You can do this. You're not nearly 43. You're 21, remember. You're not tired. Who am I kidding? Somebody not good. Whew. Oh, 
Tschüss auf. We get on one together. We can record the stuff about blues and reds and blacks. So the piece map shows you all the bits and pieces that you need to know in terms of where the lifts are, what, where the runs are, um, where food is important, stuff like that. But one of the other things it does tell you is it tells you about the different types of run. So there are blue runs, red runs and black runs. Blue runs are, are kind of your beginner's slopes, I guess. Um, fairly sensible, fairly straightforward. They tend to be what are called ski vegs, which t um, I think when the snow's not there in the spring and the summer would be where roads are and things like that. But ultimately they are routes to get you from one place to another. They're fairly straightforward to ski, not too bad at all. Then we've got the red runs. Um, they're the ones that are for, sort of for your more intermediate skiers, I guess. Um, the slopes are a bit steeper. You are likely to be going a bit faster. The conditions might be a little bit icier, but they're gonna be a bit more challenging. And then finally, you've got the black runs, which are the most challenging ones on the slope. That can be for definitely the steepness of that slope and also it can be very, very icy. So to try and get your skis to cut in and grip are a bit challenging. But we've been on all of those today. We've done blues, reds and blacks, wherever we found them. Whew. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Bushcraft Dave. Been a bit different. Hope you've enjoyed seeing the ski slope. Ski slopes. Hope you've enjoyed seeing the ski slopes and a bit of a snapshot of what we've been doing this week. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next one. Where am I going? <laughs> Just down. You'll be fine. A big old run that. Thighs. Yeah. Yeah, my thighs are not my friend.